Okay. And then nothing else really over here. Although we do have some of these uh, spacesuits. Hopefully there's nobody in them. Because that would be kind of creepy. Huh. Alright. Well, the thing that we want to do here. I'm assuming they mean this chair to get it out there. But uh, we have to hit the airlock. And we have to go back outside for a minute. So I'm going to try and make its way over here. There's not really any method for us to grab this, it seems. So I'll just... Let you go on in there. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. There we go. Lots of weird, obscure stuff like this that I'm probably going to end up missing. But as far as I know, this game is uh, very short. Ooh, here we go. So we have the space station robot arm. Plasma cutter primed and ready to cut locks. But unfortunately, it is slightly malfunctioning at the moment. So we got to do it manually. Look at this. There we go. Consider yourself plasma cutted fool. <laughs> so we're going to press this button to open the airlock, subject ourselves to deep space gravity and the lack of oxygen. We're going to go and push this out there. And hopefully that means we're going to get something, something to pop. But first I have to actually use my face. Ugh, oh, okay. Are the physics going to start breaking now that I'm recording? <laughs> there you go. Get out of here. And with that, have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, just let's admire the view and collect ourselves our first piece of gear, aside from the Astro Tool. It appears that the plasma cutter can be safely removed from the servo arm and attached to a socket on the right hand glove. I'll take it. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we should not be <laughs> just, you know, willy-nilly cutting things that we see out in the world. But uh, anytime we see glowing yellow plastic bits, uh, we can destroy them with our awesome laser cutter. And it's going to say, do not cut all the while. So there we go. That should be able to set us to our next destination. We'll probably do these ones too for good measure. Man, it would sure suck being locked on the other side of this thing. Otherwise, oof. I don't even know what to tell you. So... Let's go on through. There we go. It's so quiet. Damn. There we go. All right. So we can cut these in emergency for some extra oxygen, but they only left one and it only gives us 30 seconds. So that's, that's fine and dandy, isn't it? All right. Let's head over here, reserve some of our battery juice and our replenishing, you know, flashlight. And there we go. That should be good, right? Yeah. All right. Nothing to scan here also. Scan and cut are the same things, but they're situational, and you'll only be able to do them near areas where it's possible to do them. And so far, it seems we don't need to worry too much about oxygen, but... Yeah, maybe, maybe answer the lady. <laughs> she seems very worried about you. But we're going to keep going this way. I thought we were already near the end. But here's the airlock. I don't know why they decided to close this. Why would you do that? Why? There we go. All right, let's get our oxygen back. Uh, maybe our gravity? Actually, maybe. Probably not. Oof. And another audio log. Copy that. Do you think we'll finish construction anytime soon? Was the council claiming more supplies each week? I doubt it. I'm surprised we got this past MacArthur in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I'm getting strange readings here from the lunar surface. Are you seeing anything? Just wrapping up. What the hell? All the lights are shutting down. Are you alright, Wolf? What just happened? I can't see we lost power from the MPT. The whole station is down. Can you find your way back to the airlock? Negative. I don't have a visual. Right. I'm sending Alex to block the airlock doors. Do you see him? I see his flashlight. Heading back to the airlock. What's going on? Everything on the surface is dark. Rolf, not now. What's your ETA? Ten seconds. Make it faster. Once the airlock seals, you'll be locked out. Alex is blocking the door for you, but he can't hold it much longer. Ooh, that sounds like a bit of a harrowing experience. 
All right, the Orion wing plate. Yeah, so it seems like the World Space Agency is a little bit on the sketchy side because they're denying our friends Sarah and Rolf here the necessary materials to actually make this a habitable place. I, I feel like this would be the worst possible sort of situation to be in if you're trying to, you know, save the world. Anyways, we've got ourselves life support station power. So I guess we're going to head to maintenance and not walk into any electricity. Now, there is an achievement in this game to not get shocked by something. I don't know if this is what it counts, but I'm going to try to avoid it as much as possible because you can die with two shocks to your face. So we're going to be a little bit careful. But for the time being, I'm going to go through very slowly. My flashlight's going to die. And we're going to maybe make our way through here. Um, so I guess maybe we head over this way because we're going to want to oof, watch out. Oof. All right, nice. So anytime you see a yellow thing, let's just go ahead and destroy it. I will not be getting shocked today, sir. And that little theme that plays anytime we solve a puzzle, it reminds me so much of Subnautica. I want to play that game for you guys so badly. This is going to be a bit of a test recording for that as well because it's very similar. It's a survival game set underwater and uh, I have played just enough of it to know that I want to play it, but apparently it's going to be like an 80 hour long venture and I don't know. I don't want to play too much more of it because I still want to discover things. But man, is it addicting. And that's kind of why I just kind of jumped on this so early. So there it is. The moon. I have a feeling we'll be going there soon enough. But first, let's explore some of this. Nothing really. Also, weird little, like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this going to make me hurt? Bubbles. Bubbles everywhere. Oh, here we go. All right. So apparently there are six chapters to this game. This is the end of the second chapter, and this part sucks. Don't like it. So, we need to find a way to power the station rotation engine, and I am assuming this is it. We are going to need uh, six power supplies in order to make this puppy work. So, yeah, that'll send us over to Ares, and to do this, we're gonna have to go through each of these compartments and uh, go through a series of trials, more or less. And this is going to allow us to bring power to some places while, you know, distributing it from another. So I think we need all six of them. That would kind of make sense. So now that that's done, we can rotate and move on to the next one, which will have us destroying lots of this stuff. And the game is going to slow down pretty immensely. Not that that's a bad thing, but there we go. And for those of you who are curious, I'm indeed playing this on an Xbox One X and uh, what's interesting is that this game actually supports 4K output at 30 frames per second, which is what I was testing recordings on uh, on my first playthrough, which we are almost near where I stopped playing and decided to record it for you guys. But uh, it runs very slowly. It literally runs at half speed. Like, uh, <laughs> here, let me let me just show you guys some. So we've got settings. We've got uh, controls which are there, horizontal and vertical sensitivity are at six. Basically, if we were to change it to 4K 30 frames, uh, it would act as if the sensitivity was at three. They literally just halved it, which was so unusual. I don't know why they did that, but um, we're not gonna be changing it because it will probably end up screwing up the recording. The way I have it set up uh, is to keep it as consistent as possible. But if I were to change the frames in game, it would the recording would turn into a variable frame rate, which does not really work well with uh, editing software. And that's something I've been kind of uh, reading up on is just how... Uh-oh. Uh, editing programs really don't like it when frames change in the middle of a game. So if you can just record things at a constant frame rate, then that would probably be your best bet. But this game runs ludicrously slow and on... 4k so it's a bit of a shame but it's probably okay because look at this it's already slowing down on this part because there's a ton of electricity now this might be what they were referring to when they said don't get shocked and to be completely honest the game like it is look how 
Look how slowly the game just starts going to a crawl because of all that electricity. Good God. thought Xbox One X was supposed to be the real deal, man. Okay, so we're going to go through. I don't know where my hitbox is, so we'll just, we'll just see. I can't. It's so slow. Okay, here we go. Once we're in. If I get hurt, it's not the worst thing in the world. But, I'm just gonna concentrate. Uh, if you die, you start going into third person mode. And it's very weird because <laughs> you're, I don't know how you're supposed to know how anything's supposed to work. Oof. Damn. All right. That's terrifying. The first time that happened, I like dropped the controller because it was so loud and jarring. But there we go. Give me the frames back. Good God. All right. Well, I got shocked. Isn't that a shocker? And now with that done, we have just one more. One more to do. Are you going to kill my frames? Are you going to be a mixture? Yep, it's a mixture. All right. Well, let's just do this, and I'm going as slowly as I can. When you're going in first-person mode, or sorry, uh, like zoom-in mode, it already slows down the way you're looking. So it's a bit of a shame. You don't have health, obviously, but if you get hit too many times over the course of uh, doing a thing, then you're going to be in trouble, and you're going to die, and you're going to have to start all the way over. Now, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it the easy-peasy way. So, let's be careful. Let's go slowly. And we're set. Give me that power. Thank God. Okay. Good. Don't worry, that actually does not pose any danger to you. You're supposed to be able to do this with ominous warnings. Now that the rotation engine is now completely powered. Uh-oh. Oh no. Well, we should probably uh, take care of that, shouldn't we? To the Ares wing. We need to go. Oh, hope I'm not missing anything. Uh oh. Oh no. Go, go. Oh, we're back here. This looks familiar. Wait. No, I don't want it to be critical. We're nearly done here. Wait, do we need to go in there? I thought we were supposed to launch ourselves, maybe. Or do we go back to Libra? Libra? Uh-oh. Wait, which way? I thought... Hold on. Wait just a second. So we can't go back in there. Uh-oh. Am I already lost? Did I already forget what I was supposed to do? Yeah, we can't get in there. We're supposed to go to Ares, but there's no way for us to power that up. I think we're supposed to go to Libra again. Yeah, that's locked. Control center. Return to the control center in the Libra wing. Oh, that's right. In the office space. Because now that we were able to turn ourselves around, we're fine. Okay. So we just do go back in a giant circle. Perfect. I'm sure this game is chock filled with more of those moments. Or we're just not entirely sure where to go. Other than like the obvious spot, clearly. Oh no. Alright, well. Uh heading on back. Where where are we going? Back through the sleep quarters, right? Oh my god, where am I? There we go. It's very disorienting coming out of this. Alright, anything else you forget? Um can't go back in through the bedrooms. Good to know. Alright. Here we go. Activate rotation engine. Go.
Oh man, I forgot about quick time events. But we have to make our way through this field of debris while grabbing oxygen and not getting smacked in the face with a piece of a toilet because that would be probably the worst thing that could happen to us out here, especially because most of our oxygen got lost. But we're going to want to make sure we don't take any wrong paths because this is where I stopped playing. <laughs> this is where I was like, all right, we got to do the thing. Because uh, whew, it's, it's, it's a tight, tight fit. This game does not mess around. And if you don't know where you're going, you're probably going to end up dying. You're just going to lose your oxygen. And it's not a fun ordeal. So I'm going to take this. Good thing they made them in, you know, 30 second reserves. Oh, nice. There's a bunch over here. Hooray. Oh, but can't grab any of them. So instead, we have to head over here. We have to break it open. Thank God. Hopefully there is one in there, which there is. We're going to go and grab that. Um, be careful with not hitting the sides of things, too, because that'll kind of send you off a little bit and derail you off your already very rails-on existence. If we keep heading on in here, I have a feeling we're supposed to head into that thing. Man. Yeah, so now we're kind of entering gravity territory, which again, fantastic movie. Don't watch it while you're on a plane like I did. <laughs> Although that definitely heightens the experience a bit. Um, it's so good, man. So it, oh my God, it really put me in it. And you want to backtrack out of this one because that's still an area and we need to head in here. It does a really good job of queuing you in with the with the lights and the music. But once we head in here, all bets are off because I've actually died in here. Uh, so we're going to grab the oxygen and then we need to head into the airlock. Again, I think you could probably wait until you're two seconds away here. So I'm just going to do that right here just in case. Hopefully we'll have enough time. But uh, please don't. This might only give us ten. <laughs> like, we have no idea. But we're going to be on the brink, you guys. There we go. All right. Heart pumping. Wait, I'm not done yet? Oh, no. Wait, wait. Okay, okay, this is what we have to do. Right here. Oof. 